Trumps and are a nonsense. Drugs, flies, and a rebellious bunch. Folks, brace yourselves for a wild ride straight into the heart of Trump's latest outrageous performance. This time, the stage was set at the National Rifle Assocation's annual meeting in Texas, where our former president brought his a game of zingers, insults, and downright absurdity. As the crowd roared like a pack of hungry lions, Trump basked in the glory of the NRAS endorsement, thanking the great patriots before unleashing his signature brand of chaos. But first, he had to scold the rebellious bunch for not voting enough. Yep, you heard that right Trump called out gun owners for being too darn rebellious. Gun owners don't vote. What is that all about? He exclaimed, probably scratching his head in bewilderment. If gun owners would vote, we would swamp them at levels that nobody's ever seen before. Well, folks, I don't know about you, but I'd love to see a campaign slogan that reads, Trump 2024. Vote for the rebellious bunch. Talk about a rallying cry for the ages. But the fun didn't stop there. Oh no, Trump had his sights set on a new target, independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Now, you might think that having a famous political dynasty name would earn you some respect, but not in Trump's book. Or FK, Jr. I call him Jr. by the way he's radical left. Don't think about it. Don't waste your vote, Trump declared, probably while wagging his finger like a disappointed parent. And just when you thought it couldn't get any weirder, a pesky fly decided to join the party. Buzzing around the stage and driving Trump to the brink of insanity, this fly is brutal. I don't like flies. He exclaimed, swatting at the winged intruder like a true professional. But Trump wasn't done with our FK Jr. Yet, he doubled down, accusing the aspiring candidate of calling the NRA a terrorist group. Talk about a low blow. You can't vote for him. You can't, Trump insisted, as if he had the final say on the matter. And just when you thought the madness had reached its peak, Trump turned his attention to President Biden, questioning his cognitive abilities and accusing him of being high as a kite during his State of the Union address. So, I think we should go for drug tests on the debate. Yeah, we're going to call for drug tests, Trump announced. Probably envisioning a scenario where Biden shows up to the debate with a joint dangling from his lips. Folks, I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted just recounting this wild ride. From scolding rebellious gun owners to swatting flies and calling for drug tests. Trump's NRA appearance was a true testament to his ability to keep us all entertained, confused, and perhaps a little bit concerned. But hey, at least we can rest assured that if Trump wins in 2024, we'll have a president who's not afraid to take on the real threats pesky flies and candidates with famous last names. God bless America. Am I right?